Namaste to all my audience. My name is Dr. Raj and in this video I am going to share with you how to perform one factor completely randomized design analysis along with interpretation and multiple comparison tests like DNMRT, LSD test or Tuckey's test. So basically we have started one website by the name www.agrianalyze.com so it's in a development stage so that's why we have http so let's first see how to arrange the data set in order to analyze the data of one factor crd in agrianalyze.com so first you need to have one treatment column so here we have our treatment sugar sugar has six levels a b c d e f and it has been repeated for many times then we have traits like plant height yield test weight and others okay so now you can arrange data like this in a csv format our website accepts data only in csv format so you can now save this data you can have any number of trades it can be 10 20 25 generally researchers in agriculture have around 10 to 15 parameters or we can say dependent variables in their msc research so uh, let's save this file and close it now let's directly go to website so this is the landing page of the website http www.agrianalyze.com here we have the button of analytical tool so this uh, agrianalyze will help the researcher to perform different types of research like genetics and plant breeding research correlation regression analysis multivariate techniques hypothesis taxi testing time series forecasting and many more but it's under the development stage and we have completed this in design of experiment we have completed the crd and rcbd so now let's go to crd we want to perform one factor crd analysis so i am choosing this on clicking on this we get our next page now here we need to upload our csv make sure your data is not in excel it should be in CSV. Then we just choose the file. Let's say this is our file and click on open. Now you can see here in red we have written file successfully uploaded. So our file got uploaded. Let's select the treatment. So our treatment was sugar. Once I select the treatment, the rest of the dependent variables you can see here. Okay, our plant height, yield, test weight, and other dependent variables now choose the appropriate multiple comparison test for low number of treatments that is almost up to seven the researchers generally prefer least significant difference test for mean comparison but it's up to individuals requirement no fit one fit for all so let's give demonstration about lsd you can choose any one of these three I am choosing least significant different test. So on clicking here, I am pressing on the submit button. So this will give me a basic summary. So these treatments are 6, number of observations are 108, variables are 10, and research price is 50. So variable if increases, if the variable number of variables are greater than 10, then per variable we charge some small amount like 10 rupees 15 rupees 20 rupees depending on the research work currently it's under the development so we are not charging anything then just click on the research okay so on clicking on the research you can see here a download option okay so your entire analysis of all the trades then multiple comparison tests and stuff like that has been generated in one single pdf click on this download button and let's open this so here let me zoom in for you guys so 
completely randomized design analysis for trait plant height. So our first dependent variable was plant height. So you can see the analysis starting with plant height. The HO, HO means null hypothesis. That is telling me the means of all the treatments are same. All the treatments are having the same mean. Then we have analysis of variance part. You can see the p value and you can also see the result interpretation of this p value. So the results are found non significant. Then we have other statistics like standard error of mean, standard error of difference, critical difference at 5%, or we can say LSD value at 5%, CD value at 1%, that is LSD value at 1%, they both are same and use interchangeably. Then we have overall mean. Some people call it as a grand mean. That is average of all the 108 data points regarding plant height. Then we have the CV percent. CV percent is coefficient of variation. So that is 7.15. Now you can also see the interpretation of the ANOVA results. No need to worry if you are not aware about the interpretation of P value. You can directly get this interpretation from here. So it is written the treatment component p value was this. Results were found non significant. We failed to reject the null hypothesis. Null hypothesis was the mean of all the levels of treatment sugar are same. And we should not go for mean comparison of different levels of sugar. So least significant difference. Test result is that. But we need to, we are suggested that we should not go for mean comparison okay test but it's a researcher friendly you can see list significant difference test result the treatments are ordered as per the plant height then you have this group mean it's a very uh, you know easy for researcher to write this indirectly in the paper we have standard error, then we have standard deviation, and then we have also interpretation of the least significant difference test. Okay, after that, there was a trait plant of a, after plant height, there was a trait yield. So, this PDF contains analysis of all the traits. You can see the last trait was the last trait here is. GY that is grain yield. So it perform analysis of all the dependent variables or traits that are involved in the uh, CSV file. I hope you guys like this video as well as the software. Do try to use the software. If you have, if you are facing any, you know, uh, sort of issue, then we will try to fix it. Please bring this to our attention, and uh, this will. Your positive, you know, feedback and criticism will help us to build this product in a, a very better way. So, thank you for watching this video. Hope you have a nice time.